Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless here with Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We are at the Psyonix booth. Now Psyonix is an interesting product. This is a product that I've actually been watching develop over the past couple of years. Now what caught my attention with this product, the idea being this product gives you full color night vision. Now me as an avid outdoorsman, somebody who spends a lot of time in the outdoors and in the mountains, I greatly enjoy the idea that you could actually see clearly what is going on here in the night, the wilderness, the wildlife, the different things that you see out in the mountains. Well, while I'm out there, I have a hard time seeing, but imagine having full color night vision. That's what we have here today. So I'm here with Dan. Dan, this is a product that I've been watching for a couple of years now. I've been watching you guys develop and grow and some of the interactions that you've had in a number of different industries. Right. This is an interesting product because I am an avid outdoorsman. Right. Now, I'm not law enforcement. Or are you a customer? I am not a customer, uh, no. Not, you just gotta be a customer. I'm not a customer, but I would like to be. Um, th this product to me is really interesting where, you know, I spend a lot of time in the mountains. Yes. I'm a, a hiker and a backpacker yes. and I camp a lot. And when it gets dark, it gets dark. Now you get some really nice starlight and sometimes some good moonlight, sure. but at the same time, you're always kind of wondering what is this around me? Yeah. You know, you hear things and you're trying yeah. to get yourself a good night's sleep, but you always kind of wonder, <laughs> well, you may have a solution here to kind of help out with some of that. Oh, you know, we get a lot of people like you that want to go out to and watch wildlife, nature. And what's nice about the color night vision camera is that if I have a IR illuminator as well, I can turn that on and although it's invisible to the human eye and the animal's eye, it lights their eyes up and I can see every animal that's out there in the woods. Interesting. Yeah, so it's literally it's bright. It's it's, bright. It's blaring off the back of their retinas and just shining. That's right, shining right back at you. Interesting. Good idea. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now this is night vision. Is this just optics or is there a camera built into this? Can you record and can you actually track uh, you know, what you're seeing? Yeah, absolutely. It is, it is a camera. Uh, it does photos, videos, time lapse. It also has accelerometers built into it. So if you have it mounted in your car or if you have it on a rifle and you take a shot or something bumps it, it'll know that it's been bumped and it will actually capture up to 30 seconds on either side of that bump. Huh. So whether it's a rifle shot or an accident or something like that, it'll capture that for you. Okay, interesting. So even if it's not actively recording and it gets that bump, it'll activate and it'll grab that. There's a, there's a special mode you put it into, so it's always sitting there buffering yep. and it knows that it's not to record until it hits something. Interesting. So what, talk to me quickly about battery life. If I was using this, you know, on a pretty regular basis, or you know, how long can I expect this to last me under, under continuous use? Yeah, we use inexpensive batteries. You can actually find these batteries, they're camera batteries. You can find it on Amazon for about three bucks a piece. Oh, wow. They will last up to two hours of constant record time. Wow. Uh, if you want to go all night long, like some of our customers do, you'll actually see that there's a USB port so you can plug in an external battery and keep running. Ah, smart. Now, um, as time goes on, the reason why you're able to make what you're making, I mean, you use a, a different type of processor, you use a different type of um, the actual sensor in the back of it all, um, but, you know, where is this technology going? I mean, how far can you take this? What are we talking about in terms of resolution and, you know, is this 720 or 1080 or, you know, where is this going and how far are you going to take this into the future? Yeah, sure. We own the technology. We have patents on the technology, so we make the sensors that are inside here. So it's fully up to us how far we're able to push that technology. Mm -hmm. And look, all the chip guys look your computers. Every six months a new computer chip comes out. So you can expect to see from us over the years um, a new sensor technology that we put into our chipsets that will allow, allow us to go even to darker nights, maybe possibly starlight, oh, wow. where Gen 3 devices are happen to be at. Um, and of course, in higher resolutions. Nice. So what is this current iteration in terms of resolution? This is 720p right now. Okay. So. Um, what I've noticed is you have a ton of different applications for this. I mean, it's not just recreational use. You're going pretty hardcore with this stuff. I mean, sure. I see you testing it in all <laughs> kinds of almost combat situations. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, so our user base is very wide. I mean, we have everybody from military all the way to ghost hunters. So, yeah. you know, in fact, we're on several ghost hunting shows. So um, we have a very wide use case for it. Uh, we tend to focus our message to certain markets because 
that's that's a sweet spot. We can't market to everybody, right? Right. But law enforcement, hunting, shooting, sports, maritime, uh, the boaters, fishing, those are key markets for us. Right. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So um, actually, so we have this here, but I see over here on this helmet, you got something mounted up. Okay. Yeah. So. We have a lot of airsoft um, players that buy our cameras, and because it's it's near military grade night vision at a fraction of the cost, they buy two of them, and then they mount them to their helmets, and they get knots. Wow! Now they can record with it too, as yeah. well as seeing why they're walking around. And it's lighter than a PVS-14, so they don't have the weight issues that they typically have with a PVS-14. Oh wow, that's wild. And then they'll put batteries on the back and run a cable here and they'll run all night long. And then over here on the rail? So again, a lot of uh, we've had a lot of uh, customers that wanted to use it as a, as a night vision scope. Now of course we are not a scope, we're a camera, but what you can do is you can take your day scope put it behind the camera and now it turns your day scope into a night vision camera. That's wild. And night vision scope. So does this have any optical uh, zoom built into it? Is it uh, digital or does it actually use uh, the lenses to get your zoom? So it, it is a digital zoom at this point. 4X digital zoom is built into it. Yep. And now do you see Psyonix teaming up with any other manufacturers maybe into the future to put your chipsets and your technology into other camera products? Well because we do sell the chips, we always are looking for new companies to partner with to sell our chips to. Um, just like we're on the Army program right now, they buy our sensors and integrate them into what will be IVAS uh, um, contract uh, products. Um, so yes, we will end up doing that. Interesting. Excellent. So the first thing you do is walk in and look in there and make sure it's looking. Right. So in terms of the functionality, basically we're running, what's that? That's record mode? That's record. So uh -huh. we're, we're on. You're on and video. So theoretically, if I wanted to, I could just push that push button, the button and start and go. the recording. Now the, the thing you do while you record you is to look in here first with your eyes. Yep. And then look in with a camera. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, almost indistinguishable. I don't know if you want to take a peek in there. can't really see much. Oh, crazy. Okay, so it's like a, a figure. In fact, uh, maybe uh, put the camera right up to that. As you look in there, you can clearly see that is absolutely bright. So, yeah, it's a transformer. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Is it Decepticon? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. We have three different models. On the low end of the, of the scale in terms of price, we have the 399 Aurora Sport. Then we have the Aurora Classic, which is the original Aurora, and that's now, it used to be at 799, it's now 599. And today we have the Aurora Pro, which will be 799. So as a photographer and a videographer, I guess one of my questions is, do you have the ability to change gain, like your, call it ISO or uh, you know your shutter speed or things like that? Is that kind of built into this technology? Sure, so when you're in the photo mode, which is the first uh, menu item, when you're in the photo mode, you have full control, just like you would on any camera. Um, and in a video mode, um, you're able to change exposure control and that sort of thing. Uh, around in video mode and automatic is probably shooting at around 812,000 ISO. Oh wow. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. That's uh, that I had to actually process that number right. into my it's mind large. for a minute. Yeah, that's incredible. No kidding. Really cool. So nice, man. Well, thank you very much. I mean, I really appreciate the um, you know the feedback and getting to meet with you. Like oh, I said, welcome. I've been watching your product for a couple of years in the development stage, and um, to see it in my hands, it's it's smaller than I thought. Yeah. Um, but it feels nice and robust. It Pre feels nice and sturdy. Pretty light. And, yeah. It's, it, yeah. Even for how sturdy it feels, nice and light weight it's uh, compact um, this would be an excellent tool really for any outdoor uh, enthusiast and especially if you're you know trying to see what's around you or get a get a right. sense for what you might be running right, into right so thank you very much Dan you're welcome appreciate Eric. your time today you. and, and good luck in your future developments I'm I'm thank looking you. forward to watching this grow thank you um,